Superficially, Bruce looks pretty good in a t-shirt, looks like he hits the gym. Anton Bruckner looks a little bit grumpy, looks like he probably hits the gym a little less regularly. <laughs> However, it's the music we're interested in. This is music written 100 years apart. Both ACDC, thrash metal band from Australia, and Thomas Addes, a nerdy classical composer from London, use exactly the same musical tools. Guitar. Vocals. Guitar. Vocals. Flutes. French horns. Flutes. French horns. Flutes. You get the idea. Uh, the bass drum's the biggest percussion instrument in the orchestra. Uh, animal hide wrapped over wood, hit very hard, sounds brilliant. There's a pulse, so there's something missing. To illustrate they both have the same, they share the same harmonic language, I'm going to try and put that Bach motif and I'm going to try and play it on the opening of the first time ever I saw your face, a beautiful tender love song by Roberta Flack. Then rising. And rising again. Falling. So they share, you can hear how they, how they, you can hear how they share the same harmonic world. What interests me is the journey to the sweet spot in Beethoven and in Access. It's been repeated higher and higher and higher. Where's it gonna go? And now we're back at the sound we heard at the beginning of the track. And DJ Mischer did two things. He added layers, strands of music, and he repeated something, remember that bump, that really annoying bump, 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 bump. He repeated an idea over and over and over. Beethoven does exactly the same thing, with a little bit more class. The motive is ba da da di da da ba da da point it out. It's going to be repeated higher and higher, and layers are going to be added. Enjoy. Now, with a Beethoven, what's so thrilling about it and what, what makes me need that in my life as well as access is the fact that it's happening exponentially, which is very, very quiet, and then suddenly you get that surge into bam, 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 bam. Jimi Hendrix and George Crumb. I'm sure everyone's heard of Jimi Hendrix. He felt that strumming it, love, love, be do, that wasn't enough for him. He wanted to push the boundaries of his instrument to reflect the world that he was in, much in the same way as George Crumb did. This is the sound of the guitar. Does that sound like this? I think it does. In terms of just the way that they're both using their instruments, for me, again, it's all music.